Well, hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Justin here. And the Lord has been uh, prompting me to share something with you, something that uh, I experienced about three, four years ago. It was a dream that I had, and it was during a time that I was at seminary in Chicago, and I was traveling out to a city called Elgin, uh, where I was working with a group of uh, teens, and, and kids who were about uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, and it was just an amazing time. We, we, we did a, a, an apologetics group, and we would talk about, about the origins of the universe. We would talk about uh, the fall. We'd talk about creation. We'd talk about... Uh, Jesus, his, his crucifixion, his resurrection. We would talk about evidence for these things, uh, scientific evidence for the existence of God. And in, in any case, it was a great, great time, also a challenging time in my ministry life. But well, what was going on uh, was, I was I was ministering to these children. And one, one night, the Lord uh, put me down to sleep, and I, I, I had this dream. And I'll tell you about the dream. I, I, I was in this chapel, and it was this large chapel and I was sitting in one of the back rows and I saw that there were m many, many, many people seated on these chairs and we were all waiting. We were all waiting for some huge, massive event. And I noticed that a lot of children were sitting on those chairs as well, a lot of young people. And we were all in this chapel and we were waiting for something. We were, there was this expectancy. We were waiting for the return of Jesus Christ to the earth. We were w waiting for the second coming. And we were all uh, looking up in expectation. And it was in this dark chapel, and we were looking up. And, and as I looked up, I saw this massive star-filled sky. There, there, was no, there was no roof on this chapel. It was a giant star-filled sky above us. Hundreds and thousands and billions and millions of beautiful glowing stars uh, just, just across everywhere you could see. And it was so beautiful. And, and I realized as I looked up, I was seeing something very special. But I, I recall when I looked to my left and when I looked to my right, I could see uh, uh, there was no end to this chapel on either side either. There were no walls. There were chairs going down, almost infinitely down to the left and infinitely down to the right. And it was, it was incredible. That it just filled with people, all these people looking up, waiting expectantly for the return of Jesus. And I realized as I looked up that I was seeing a, an ancient promise that was fulfilled. I realized that we as the body of Christ today, and there are millions and millions of us on the earth, probably hundreds of millions of true Christians on the earth right now and across history, I realized that each of us were the fulfillment of an ancient promise given to Abraham, this man long, long ago in the book of Genesis. And he was, he was told by God, count the stars if you can. I will make your descendants, because you've obeyed me, because you've obeyed me, because you've followed my call, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, as numerous as the grains of sand on the seashore. And I realized that we as the body of Christ today are a fulfillment of that great promise that God gave Abraham so long ago that we would be his, his descendants and, and Abraham would be our, our grandpa. <laughs> and we're part of that lineage now were that promise fulfilled. We are the descendants of Abraham and Christ. And all, all because one man decided to be obedient to God. So today, I call you to be obedient to God as well. God bless you.